Two trillion dollars in taxes, but six trillion in spending and 22 trillion in borrowing. What can go wrong? And I was like, I should buy stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, but what do you buy? Stock. Gold. Stock? No, I mean, crypto it, and land. Gold and crypto, I guess. Yeah. And copper. So I bought guns. Not yeah, because guns are always going to be a good investment. Man. I'm sorry. It's but, but, but not because I'm like, the apocalypse is nigh. No, I was actually thinking like, if I buy a car, mm -hmm. cars go down exactly. in value immediately. Exactly. I have some cryptocurrency. I have some gold and silver. Mm -hmm. Like, what's a good thing that's functional and important? So what did I get? I bought mouthwash. Yes. Isopropyl alcohol. And guns, mm -hmm. because guns are, are, are like, they're machines. They're simple machines. They work yes. well. And my worst case scenario is, like, I just, you know, end up selling them back to stores or something or just have them. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be fun to go to the range and we can film videos and we can talk about. I, I look at it like the worst case scenario for me is I have these guns. We can just do vlogs where we're, like, explaining and we get someone out to talk to us yeah. about the different kinds and everything. And I'm just like, I don't want to sit here and just have dollars that are disappearing. It was, I'll tell you, it was really yeah. freaky because we built this, this, the park, the, the skate park for the, for the vlogs and the shows. And we're like trying to make this big fun space. Yeah. Some people said it's like fantasy factory or whatever. And I was like, I want to make a big cultural thing. And I'm looking at the prices to do what we already did. It, yeah. We wouldn't be able to do it right now. Jeez. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so I'm like, so, so, so by sheer nature of just having money sit around, I've lost the ability to grow yes. the business. Yes. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yes. So it's like, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm like, hire, hire a bunch of people ASAP. Just hire that's, everybody. That's like, you're hired. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd rather have the person here doing backflips and cartwheels in the front lawn than just having money disappear. Yeah, but yeah. then the problem is, as the, uh, as the dollar inflates, it becomes more and more expensive to keep all the people you just hired. That's a good point. I mean, well, if, like what? Like the food will get too expensive? Yeah, like their cost of living is going to increase a lot. Yeah, I know. Then I'll just build, you know, like a, a the Tim compound fun factory. No, no, we'll get we'll we'll get maybe like a couple hundred square feet, but we'll make you know stand up sleeping rooms so we can fit three hundred. That's people just called a closet. Bad <laughs> <cages. Yeah. laughs> What we'll do is we'll get sleeping bags that hang, oh. so you 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 climb in and zip up and just hang, and you don't need space. That's smart. And then dude. it's time I to like wake that. up. They Wait come in, hit it with a Who stick. Who needs privacy? Yeah. No we'll just put them all against the wall. In fact, we'll double them up. We'll, we'll double them up. Pies. Just use plastic the, bags. On. There's the, a lot of cicadas out. Eat the bugs. <laughs> the front of your sleeping bag has another hook to hang another person in the sleeping bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have like a little kangaroo pouch, scalable. dude. We're all going to get real close, huh? People should get out of cities, man. No. If you no can, joke. that's a good, a good, a good, really good idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Like, I, I go outside, you know, there's like, like an egg. Like I walk into the chicken thing, there's like an egg. And I just take it and I'm like, I wash it off and I eat it. That's it's true great. in my city too, but I live in a very Dude. southern city, you know, just eggs. What so city? So I'm just, I, I don't want to dox myself. Oh, you know? smart yeah. guy. So, so the cicadas are getting crazy. They're like, at first they're on the trees and they're, they're they all scream. Have you ever heard of, have you, have you caught one? <laughs> it's their wings. I hear they're, they're flapping the wings so fast. It sounds like they're screaming. No, Isn't no, no, that no, true? no, no, no. Uh -uh. They're actually screaming. I don't know if they're actually screaming, but there was one flying above me and it wasn't noisy. And then when I went to swat it, it went right up. Whoa. And I was like, wow, that's Yeah, that happened, dude. dude. One of them landed on me, and then I was like, get off me. And I, like, blew on it, and I was like, Bleh. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was so terrible. So uh, I, got, I have this thing called the bug assault. Yeah, oh, I love it's that thing. It's a pump action salt blaster for bugs. And so what happens is a cicada, when it, like, flies at me, I take its wing out and then toss it to the chickens. So, so I've basically been harvesting the cicadas from the air to give to the chickens. The chickens are going us. They're eating them all up. When Tim said he bought a bunch of guns, that's what he was talking about. A bunch of salt yeah, shotguns. Nerf, nerf. That's what I call an assault weapon. So the thing about the cicadas is we had those in the area I grew up. I grew up right outside Chicago. And we got that. I think we we're about two years different from you guys with the 17-year cycle. But the ground was like black. It was just covered in cicadas. It was worse than it was here. They were everywhere. Whoa. Yeah. I saw a photo from Loudoun County. And it was a bush with every leaf was just covered in cicadas. Like it yeah. was like a bush, but it was brown. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wouldn't it be great to like throw a net over that, catch them all, and throw them into a chicken coop? And just eat them. Mm -hmm. Just eat the bugs. Don't don't. Eat, Why not? Eat What's wrong? I heard with it that? tastes terrible. I've heard. Yeah, I, somebody told me that one of their friends ate. Or I think uh, somebody here was telling me that their their boyfriend ate one and that it tasted disgusting. I don't even remember. No, delicious. You no, should try I don't it. You. you should try it. No, no it's really good. Do not. it on air. No, now we're talking. You got to grind it up and put it the powder in the tub like, yeah. and soak in it. Exactly. Why don't you make cicada bread? I don't want to. I will. <laughs> I will. I just. Do. I don't See, know. the thing no, is, like, it, we, we, cool. we made cricket we bread, the, but they yeah. were farmed crickets. Yeah. They were farmed, fried, and milled. Interesting. The, the cicadas are like, dude, they're out of the ground in, like, the middle of nowhere. There's going to be, like, weird parasites. Oh, and they, right. have that, they have that new, that, that, well, I'll tell you this. They have some kind of, like, fungus disease. 
Then I think they're they're now they have psilocybin in them or something like that. Oh my gosh! Did you what? guys hear that? Did you hear something like that? I did. What? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Whoa, people, dude! Are people going on cicada yeah, trips? Yeah. So they're getting this fungus and it makes them go crazy and they become even more um, insane about having cicada babies. And they start shaking really, 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 really fast, and they basically like implode. Their so, butts yeah. fall off. Yeah, their butts fall uh, off. Have you confirmed that it's psilocybin? No. It Ian's like, I want to eat them now. <laughs> I'm looking into it. No, it's it is some form of hallucinogenic fungus, oh, so, which is really interesting. So wait a minute. Next thing we know, like these, Ian's in the these, backyard with a big jar. I did, start, I did like it. I, no, I did don't, it. Ian. Don't, don't eat the bugs. Cicada mushroom. Cicada don't mushroom. Smoke the bugs. Or fungus. Smoke a cicada. <laughs> Cool. No, no, none of that. None of like that. It might, if it's ergot, that'd be interesting. Are you guys familiar with ergot? Yeah, that's yeah. what yeah, LSD comes from. Yeah, they, they synthesized it out of uh, ergotamine. LSD is synthesized out of ergotamine, which no. is a fungus that grows in rye. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And like they say the Salem witchcraft trials, they went insane because they were getting ergot poisoning yeah. and they didn't know. So they thought everybody was like, oh, and all these things in the past have been attributed to it. Like the dancing plague. Have you ever heard of that yes. in Europe? Mm. Yep. All these people just started dancing and they, it was during the plague and they just came out of their houses and for days they would dance. And Until they, they died. Yeah. Disco fever. And Disco then it started, <laughs> it started what it was. spreading. Or Dude, poisoned. could you imagine being like a woman during the Salem witch trials and you're like churning butter and then all of a sudden some guy walks up to you and he's tripping balls and he's like, witch. <laughs> so then they it's beat horrible. you to death. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> like, what did I do? <laughs> That's just making butter. That's I've heard that. Do you guys think that's why the Salem witch trials happened? I've heard that, that they were like hallucinating. Yeah, they were, yeah. <laughs> they were tripping. They dude. were eating like contaminated rye, basically. Bread. It was the ergot was growing on the rye. Yeah. So oh here, actually, let's let's put it in today's terms. Imagine you're chilling in your living room and you're like watching a show, and Ian walks in tripping balls, <laughs> and he's like witch. And then everyone runs in and starts beating you with like clubs and stuff. I it's promise. Like, I mean, I really, the people who are culpable <laughs> I would never do it. <laughs> you have my word. Dude, internet but just keeps cutting it out. I'm um, confirming this. A fungus is pushing cicada sex into hyperdrive. Yep. And wow. leaving them dismembered. So you guys have read this. Yeah. Oh my so gosh, I guess their um, private parts cicadas. fall off because oh they get gosh. moving too fast. The fungus Which, is called masos Massospora is yeah. the name of the fungus. You got to research uh, it for us. I'm really curious. I don't know. An amphetamine. What was that? Ugh. All right, let me read. We got we got it from NPR. They say after 17 years underground, the Brood X periodical cicadas are slowly emerging in 15 states. Yeah, we know. They'll shed their skins and spend four to six weeks mating before the female lay eggs, and then they all die. Mm. But some of them are getting wilder. A fungus called massospora, which can produce compounds of cathinone and amphetamine, infects mm. a small so they're uppers, dude. <laughs> infects a small number of them and makes them lose control. It takes over their bodies, causing them to lose their lower abdomen and genitals, and it pushes their mating into hyperdrive, but yep. they don't have junk. How are they going to do it? This is stranger than fiction, Matt Casson, an associate professor of forest pathology and mycology at West Virginia University, tells NPR's All Things Considered. To have something that's being manipulated by a fungus to be hypersexual and to have prolonged stamina and just mate like crazy. Casson has been studying massospora for about five years, says just before the cicadas rise from the ground, the spores of the fungus start to infect the bug. Once it's above ground and starts to shed its skin, become an adult, his butt <laughs> falls off. <laughs> Then a white plug of fungus grows in its place. Oh, nasty. Oh, That's no fun. It looks like the backside of cicada is being replaced either by chalk or by like one of the nubby middle school erasers. <laughs> the insects have no idea what's happening. The fungus, however, is pulling the strings and making cicadas want to mate with everyone. Males that are infected will continue to mate with females, but they'll also pretend to be females so they can spread the fungus to males. What? It's turning the bugs it's a gay. Bug STD. Oh my gosh! Wow. Dude, this fungus right. is turning the freaking cicadas like gay. I don't like them putting fungus in the cicadas. <laughs> Dude, how come this stuff doesn't happen to people? I uh, think... I'm not that upset about it. <laughs> I think it does, but it's... I don't. I don't have FOMO about that. <laughs> it's more subtle with people. Like our bacteria, our gut biome is kind of pulling the mm. strings of our behavior. You know, eat food and then you get cravings. That's like mind control. Um, but you see it real blatant in some animals, like where the, the fungus infects the mm. brain of the worm and then it like, or the bug, and then the bug starts going crazy, like zombie bug. You guys want to hear something real gross? Yeah, yeah. dude. So uh, we Wait. got cicadas all over the place. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I've been telling the story about like, I catch them, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the easiest way, the easiest way for me has been to get cicadas for the chickens. Oh, no. I just walk to the parking lot and pick them up. You know why? Because hmm. the parking lot is, it's blacktop. Mm -hmm. We got it sealed. And so in the middle of the day, when the sun hits it, and the ground is so hot you can't walk on it. Oh. The cicadas will land and then just burn to death. Oh, nice. Oh. They'll just die. Good and so I walk up and they're just like freaking out. And oh. I just pick them up and throw them in the chicken thing. And the chickens eat a warm meal. But <laughs> today I came out 
because I can't get them all. Some have melted to the pavement. Oh, no. oh that's rough. Yeah, Those dude. Poor cicadas, dude. Brutal. Yes. Nature is metal. Well, it's not. I is it nature? I mean, we're the ones who put the black exactly. out there. But what I mean, we come from nature too. You know, like we I, have a nature. That's true. Maybe um, bl maybe black top is inhuman. In general, you know what's what worse, but I don't know. Animals do horrible stuff to other animals. I remember when we had the 17 year cicadas back where I grew up, they would be um, coming out of their shells. This is also super gross, but it's not related to blacktop, so we don't have to feel guilty about it. As they come out of their shells and they shed their skin, they're like temporarily paralyzed, and ants would just like eat them alive mm -hmm. from the inside while they were, do yeah, we would find them like hollowed out near ants' nests with just like a hole in their face. Dude, nice. pretty awful. So, like, this New York Post story, get ready for sex-crazed zombie cicadas known as flying salt checkers of death. The crazy thing about it is their butts, like, are they fall off, and then the fungus grows out of it. Could you imagine, like, if human beings, like, got infected and their butts fell I off? I couldn't. I don't want to. And then, I, you know, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just hear me out. A bunch of dudes, their butts fall off and is replaced by weird, spongy fungal spores and then they just become like zombie crazed and start pretending to be women, like trying to <sighs> spread the fungus. Maybe like, they, that's what the cicadas are doing. Maybe it has happened in the past and there was a war and they had to kill fungus butts. Huh. Like fungus they had butts. to, they're like, hey, fungus butt. Bro, the <laughs> last of us. My hold species. on, hold on. The, the last, last of us, us three. Yeah. So you know how there's like the last of us where it's like the mushrooms take over them? No, I haven't seen it. They got to do this. They got to make it. It's Could like a movie. fungus butt. Oh my god! Yeah, hey. the zombies are like people like ah, I hey. want to do it, and they're like their butts are fungus spores. And yeah. like, no fun fungus butt, no. <laughs> fungus yeah. butt. So on the unemployment benefits, <laughs> Can don't we eat cicadas. Yeah, dude, how many people do you think ate one of these infected cicadas? Oh man, oh, man. Oh. I don't, I don't know. know. Is this? Oh no, it's, no. I will not. People eat the are eating bats. They're I eating know. cicadas. How many pandemics are we gonna have to have? <laughs> people eating strange things. Dude, what if? Like, it does spread to humans because somebody saw the news about eating cicadas. Like, that would actually be a crazy, uh, uh, like, video game premise. It's, like, post-apocalyptic. And people are all, like, fungus butt zombies. <laughs> and it's, like, in the year 2021, the media told everyone to eat cicadas out of the ground. But they were infected. And the fungus spread to humans. How many people do you think actually ate cicadas out of the oh, ground? Oh, there's a restaurant nearby that does it. What? Yeah. That's Cic delicious. Cicada tacos. Good. Really? Yeah. Where do they farm them? They, the guy walks outside to his backyard and pulls him off the pulls what? him off the buildings. Hmm, Could great. you imagine that? Could you imagine like I'd like to go get food and the guy's like, oh, just a minute. Yeah, he just lifts a off my building. lifts a stone off the ground and pulls grubs and garbage ah. out of the ground and just tucks it in a pan. Dude, this and he's like just coming right up. I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good, dude. I, if I wanted to eat the bugs out the ground, I just do it myself. Bro, this is what the Lion King was trying to program us towards. <laughs> this the is bugs. the entire reason Disney released that propaganda film, trying to make us like Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah, because they were the telling bugs. Simba to eat the bugs. Eat the bugs. Yeah, because they, because you know uh, Simba was supposed to eat them. Yeah, exactly. They're like like hold on, have you thought about bugs? I mean, that's <laughs> you know, literally it. Try this. And they're like, oh, it's so good. And he's like, okay, and he eats bugs. Uh, no, was... they were sincere though. They actually ate bugs before that. They were Who bug didn't... eaters. You could tell they enjoyed it too much when they introduced Simba to the concept of eating bugs. But but yes, a, a hog and a meerkat they eat bugs. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But I'm saying they weren't being insincere. They were like, yeah, Simba, <laughs> like you really should eat this. We enjoy it. <laughs> they weren't being yeah, insincere. you know, they actually enjoyed it. This wasn't like a, well, a long con. Have uh, uh, are you ready for the the post apocalyptic dollar collapse market crash zombie butt eat the bugs future? <laughs> I don't know that I like ready is ever a word I could use to describe my state with respect to that, but I'm preparing. Well, how are you preparing? Uh, you know, I've got some I've got some emergency food. I've got some uh, got some weapons. I've got some fungal spray. Uh, oh, I'm not sure what else. Fungal spray. I'm coming what to your things? house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, okay, so. Uh, let me let's talk, Seamus. Um, yes. You know, so we've got a wonderful compound here. Yeah. Uh, everybody has their very important task. What would you, uh, what labor, what specialty could you fill here? At the, uh, uh, I, I know what you're asking. Impressions. A. Impressions. Impressions. Very good. B, I could get people to think and question authority and question the command hierarchy that you set up, which is good, which is a net benefit, <laughs> I think, which is great. This is why you want me around. Yeah, that would uh, be like a funny skit, like it's a post-apocalyptic you know, commune, like a mm -hmm. literal commune after the apocalypse and Antifa shows up. And they're like, this is horrible. We, we'd this like to, no, no, they're like, fascist. we'd like to come in. We're like, oh, excellent. Um, well, uh, what could you contribute to the commune? It's oh, like, that's we can true. smash your buildings and <laughs> make everyone question the, the social order of your, of the delicate, the, the delicate fra fabric of your society uh, in a post-apocalyptic scenario. Um, oh, intriguing, intriguing. <laughs> and what will the benefit of this be? No benefit will just destroy your way of life. Like, well, we'll end racism. It that's communism. racism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll end the racism of you. Yeah. And your and your and your commune. Yeah. 
You know, I think it'd be funny because like they would contribute literally nothing. Literally nothing. We saw that with Chop. Remember that garden? Chop. Chop. I'm sorry, Chaz. Chop. I don't know. What no the, go zone. I don't know what the preferred term is, but yeah. No go zone. Yeah, the no go zone where yeah. they had the the little garden thing that they set up. Yeah, the LARP like, garden on top of cardboard. <laughs> They, uh, Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash TimCast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you want exclusive members-only content, segments you can't get anywhere else, go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.